Your favorite firefighters are back for season 11 of Chicago Fire. And buckle up, things are shaping up to be a wild ride. Take a look. Okay, at Molly's the other night, when you suggested I should take a few shifts off, did she say something to you? She did say that you seemed a little out of it on that jet engine call. But I only believed her because you did seem distracted that morning. I am starting to think that she is shady. She lied about going to Johns Hopkins. She lied about that? And you knew? Why wouldn't you tell me? We, we thought she just wanted to seem more qualified. And we didn't want to stir the pot since she ain't sticking around. She also told me that she wishes she could stay at 51 permanently. She said the same thing to me. And here with us now, we have Hanako Greensmith, Daniel Kyrie, and Alberto Resende, AKA Violet, Ritter, and Gallo. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. Oh my God, thank you for joining. Yeah, thank you. Listen, I got some screeners, and all I'm going to say is this season is good. <laughs> it is good. <laughs> okay, so Chicago Fire in 60 seconds. Tell me everything we need to know about this season. We're back at Firehouse 51. We just left on an amazing wedding between Severide and Stella. We're moving forward as 51 does, saving lives, kissing babies, shaking hands. Um, there's Maybe. a lot of trauma. There's a lot of fire. Uh, and of course, because what we do is dangerous, we we see all all peaks of life. We see tremendous sadness and tremendous joy. Also, I feel like the fans, like we are so invested in these love lives and any any romantic love lines you could tell us about. I will say that triangle with Hawkins and Violet and Gallo is definitely shifting as Gallo has a new distraction on the horizon. Oh, oh she went there. She went there. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I have a rapid fire, but Daniel, I, I want to hear from I want to hear from you as well too. Like you join a show like this, you expect one thing, but what is something that people might not expect to know about being on Chicago Fire, the making of Chicago Fire? I mean, really, it's not the easiest show in the world to shoot because of the weather that we deal with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, you know, those beautiful shots that you might see of us, we're like walking out and it's out of the uh, out of the firehouse and it's the shot of the skyline. It looks really like magical and like great. It might be just like negative 20 degrees on that day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and <laughs> so maybe if people are from Chicago and know about Chicago, they might be able to go, okay, this is maybe like a little cray cray, <laughs> but, um, yeah. but it's fun nonetheless because we keep each other supported and we keep each other in good spirits. Okay, do you want to end with a rapid fire? Yeah, let's do let's it. Go. Okay, what is it like walking around Chicago when the fans get to see you out of character? It's really yeah. humbling. It's really yeah. humbling. It's cool when you're walking down the street and all of a sudden you just hear someone yell like, Ritter! Yeah. Like, hey! Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, here are the fun ones. Who's most likely to start a real fire? Alberta. <laughs> <laughs> dominate dominate the blooper reel. Hanukkah. Hanukkah? <laughs> Probably me. Make you do a TikTok, which I love yeah. watching you all, by the way. 100% Daniel. Yes. <laughs> Who's most likely to steal your craft service food out of the whole cast? Alberto. Alberto. Pull a prank? David Eigenberg. David Eigenberg. David Eigenberg, yeah. Fall for a prank. David Eigenberg. <laughs> okay, so here's the big thing. Like we see all the crossovers with all the Chicago shows, but if you could have anybody from any other show, streaming, broadcast, whatever, come on and join your cast for a day, who would you love to see in the mix with this firehouse? Ted Lasso. Oh, them as an actor or them as a character? Because Ted Lasso is fantastic. Yeah. That would be, there's always next season. Let's end with this. Channeling your characters, tell everybody why they need to watch this season of Chicago Fire. Because we're on it. Come on. <laughs> yeah. <That's good. laughs> Guys, it's always a pleasure getting to talk to you. I want to make sure that we tell everybody you can catch Chicago Fire Wednesdays right here on NBC.